Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be setting up a remote access into your Home Assistant instance for free and in minutes by using the service called Tailscale. Now you can do this with Nabucasa for a monthly subscription and I would still highly recommend doing that to support the Home Assistant Foundation. But if you want to do it for free through a highly secure VPN tunnel in minutes, then you're in the right place. So if you already know what a VPN is and just want to get into it, then use the chapter markers to jump ahead to the add-on installation. I'm sure you have all seen those adverts for VPNs. We even endorse one on the channel for NordVPN, links in the description, with some great special joining offers. But what is a VPN and why do we need one? A VPN or a virtual private network is a service that creates a secure encrypted connection between devices and the internet or in this case, your Home Assistant instance and your mobile. This helps protect the online privacy security by masking your IP address and encrypting your internet traffic. Essentially, it makes your online activities private and secure, preventing others from tracking you or intercepting your data. If you have a VPN already, you are probably using it to watch some streaming service in different countries. I won't get into the legality here but it was invented for business so that a person could appear to be on the network as if that person was sitting in the office locally connected and as such have access to all the office online services. To put it simply, it securely connects two networks and gives the impression that you are actually at a different location. Now we'll be using this technology to allow remote access to your home assistant from an external device to your network, such as your mobile phone. So how do we do this? For tail scale to work, we need to create two ends of the tunnel and then create a tail scale account that will sit in the middle to connect them. So first off, we need to install the Home Assistant end, which is an add-on. Navigate to Settings, Add-ons. Press the add-on store in the bottom right-hand corner. Search for and select tail scale. Now press install. This will be our Home Assistant end of the tunnel. Turn on Watchdog to restart the add-on if it crashes. Now press start. You'll see a green dot in the top right hand corner signifying the add-on has started. Now navigate to the logs in the top menu. Scroll down until you see to authenticated, visit and then a HTTPS address. Copy this address and put it somewhere safe as we'll need it later on. And that's it for the Home Assistant side of the tunnel. Now let's create the tail scale account which will connect both ends of our tunnel. Open a browser. This can be on any machine and doesn't need to be a Chromium based browser. Any will do. Paste the browser address that you copied from Tailscale into the browser address field and press enter. This will redirect you to the Tailscale login page, which is where if you don't already have a Tailscale account, you'll need to create one. You'll be given the options to create an account by logging in through Google, Microsoft, GitHub, Apple, or a passkey. Select your preferred method. Then you'll be asked to connect the device, which is your Home Assistant instance to the Towerscale account. Press connect. You'll be greeted with a success message and after a few seconds, it will drop you into the machine tab. This shows you the endpoints or machines as Towerscale calls them that have been connected to the account and their status. Now there is some more tuning that you can do here to improve your experience, but we'll do that later in the video. Now onto the mobile device end of your tunnel. Tailscale can be installed onto Android devices after version 8, which is 2018. For iOS, it can be installed onto iPhones and iPads that are running later than iOS 15.0. I'll be installing onto an iPhone for demonstration purposes. Open the App Store. Search for and select Tailscale. Press the Get or Download from Cloud symbol if previously downloaded. Once downloaded, press Open. Swipe left for the first two pages. Now press Allow Notifications. A pop-up will appear. Press Allow. Press Install. Your iPhone will ask if you would like to allow Tailscale to install a VPN. Press Allow. If asked, enter your device's PIN code and allow the VPN to be added. The VPN will now start, signified by the toggle switch in the top left hand corner, but you'll see this needs authentication. Press login. You'll be asked if Tailscale can use tailscale.com to log in. Press continue. Now log into Tailscale as you did on your browser. 
Like with your browser, you'll be asked to connect to your device. Press connect. You'll see both ends of the tail scale tunnel displayed. Make a note of the Home Assistant IP address as we'll be using that later in testing. You can confirm that your connection has been established by looking at the machines on your browser window. And that's it. Both ends of our tunnel created and tail scale in the middle. Also the IP addresses that will match. Now let's test it out. Now before we jump into testing, a few things to note. If you are connected to your home network, there is not much point in testing. So turn off your Wi-Fi and connect over cellular data. Also, if you have Nabucasa loaded, there is no need for a VPN because Nabucasa provides the same functionality. So for the purposes of testing, we'll turn this off. To do this, in Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, Home Assistant Cloud, make sure that the remote access toggle is turned off. And finally, a word of caution, if like me, you are running a VPN on your mobile device, by installing Towerscale, you will have turned off your pre-existing VPN. So just remember to turn it back on. This can be accessed in your iPhone by navigating to Settings, VPN. Now as a bonus, we have two tips. Firstly, is that each machine connection comes with a 180 day key that can expire for security purposes. You can however set this so that it never expires. Navigate to the Machine tab menu in the Tailscale site on your browser. Press the three dots to the right of the device you wish the key not to expire. Select Disable Key Expire. Your selection will be shown under the machine name with an expiry disabled. Our second tip allows you to not have to remember the IP address of your Tailscale. I mean, who wants to remember an IP address? For this, we'll need to confirm one setting. Navigate to the DNS tab menu in the Tailscar site of your browser. Scroll down till you see Magic DNS. This must be enabled. If you see Disable Magic DNS, then you're good to go. Now go back to your iPhone and on a Chrome browser type Home Assistant colon 8123, which is the name of the endpoint the Tailscar provided, and press Go. This will bring up your login screen for Home Assistant. One word of caution. I tried this on Safari and it didn't work. If you know why, then please let us know in the comments. So that's remote access into your home assistant from anywhere outside of your network, securely, free, super quick to set up. Personally, I still use Nabucasa as it supports the Home Assistant Foundation and gives me Amazon Alexa integration with zero setup. But if you don't need that, then this might be the option for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you gain remote access to your home assistant for free, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.